Carolina wins for November 2022. South Carolina voters do not have the right and the option to place their own initiatives on the ballot to pass and repeal state laws and amend the South Carolina Constitution on their own. Voters only have the power to ratify into South Carolina Constitution what the legislature puts before them through what's called a legislative referred constitutional amendment, a.k.a. legislator initiative. Amendment one, general reserve fund increase measure. A yes vote supported increasing the general reserve fund from 5% of state general fund revenue to 7% incrementally by one half percent increase each year. This measure passed or was ratified by 61.89%. General Reserve Fund, as well as the Capital Reserve Fund, are South Carolina's two rainy day funds, also known as budget stabilization funds. It is used to cover year-ending operating budget deficits when the state's general fund revenue collections cannot fully fund the state's expenditures into a fiscal year. Who supported this? Republicans, Senators Thomas Alexander, for example, who opposed it, there was no opposition. There was no money spent to support or oppose that measure. Measure two, South Carolina Amendment Capital Reserve Fund Increase Measure. A yes vote supported increase in the Capital Reserve Fund from 2% to 3% of state general fund revenue and providing that the first use of the Capital Reserve Fund is to offset mid-year budget reductions. This was ratified by 62.46%. The amendment increased the Capital Reserve Fund annual funding requirement from 2% to 3% of state general fund revenue. The amendment provided that the first use of the CRF would be offset mid-year, would be to offset mid-year reductions. As of 2022, CRF funds could not be used to offset a mid-year budget reduction. The measure required the South Carolina General Assembly to provide in state law that if before March 1st, expenditures for the current fiscal year are projected to exceed the projected revenue for the year, then the current year's appropriation to the Capital Reserve Fund must be reduced before any appropriate CRF funds by a two-thirds vote for capital improvement projects and to pay interest and principal on bonds. Who supported this? This was actually somewhat bipartisan, three Republicans and one Democrat. The Democrat's name is John Scott, if anyone's familiar with him. There was no opposition to this measure, and there was no campaign uh, finance money spent to support or oppose the measure, and that is South Carolina.